Are you a working mom who feels like you need a computer algorithm just to coordinate your schedule? Do you feel beat down trying to balance work deadlines, children's sports practices, spouses' job travel, PTA meetings, girls' night out, family vacations, children's doctor's appointments, yoga classes, and the never-ending onslaught of school activities? You're not the only one. Lots of parents feel their packed calendar is out of control, but it doesn't have to be, according to the working moms in this video who discuss how they manage their ideal schedule to fit their needs. I'm Diane Mocha. Welcome to Working Mom Warrior, where mothers of all different backgrounds share the ups and downs and hacks of juggling career and kids. We want to be that tribe of girlfriends you wish you had alongside you to cheer you on every day. Do you know if you Google the word juggle, the first example in the definition says she works full time, juggling her career with raising children. Yes, we're the poster child for juggling, but the problem is many of us feel like we're constantly dropping balls. I managed to find my ideal schedule when my boss agreed to let me work two days a week after my second child was born. But many of my mom friends did not have the same luck. The full-timers wished they could cut back or work from home, and the stay-at-home moms wanted to ease back into their careers, but opportunities to do that were rare. Fast forward 16 years, and I'm pleasantly surprised so many working moms I talked to have negotiated their work days and hours in harmony with the rest of their life rather than in conflict with it. I interviewed these moms at cafes, libraries, and even festivals where they were coated in colored powder to give you a glimpse of how they got their ideal work schedule and inspire you to seek out your own. If you could pick an ideal schedule, keep the job that you love, what would be your ideal schedule? It's not far from what I have now. You know, it's kind of nice to have some travel time away where you can really concentrate on your job, but it's also nice to have some family time. Um, the only thing I would say, is, and it's wonderful to not have a commute and to have a home office where I can go to, like you said, recitals, plays, sports, I really don't have to miss them. I really don't miss them. You know, I'm really there for 90% of what happens in my kids' lives. Um, the only thing I would say or that I would have different from what I have now is my job is very high stress so it's hard to wind down and calm down and take it, get away from it, you know, in these times and festivals like today. And so I would say the only thing that would be different is somehow be able to unplug and disconnect and maybe have a little bit of extra me time, you know, exercise time, yoga meditation you know something that would be good for me to calm down and you don't have it because the minute your work is done the kids are already screaming and yelling and right right my demands are on me the second I turn from my desk I actually worked in community mental health before I had children which was a lot of hours very stressful more dangerous um, now I work in a private group practice it's it's a little cushier a little quieter I make my own schedule um, so I made that shift after kids. It was sort of a natural shift for me. So did you make it because of kids or did it just happen that yeah, way? Yeah, yeah. I wanted something that was just a little more predictable with having young kids at home. And what's the schedule that you have? I work three weekdays and then I'm home with the girls on two weekdays and then the weekends. Um, my youngest is in preschool three days a week, the days I work. And so it works out really well. We don't need any supplementary childcare. Do you have what you think is an ideal schedule and how did you get that? Was it just luck or did you push for it? Um, yeah, I, I really do have an ideal schedule. I really, um, I looked really hard when I found out I was pregnant with my first for something that would be more balanced. Um, and actually, so I looked really hard. I couldn't find anything in my field um, with the education that I had. Um, but I, I sort of let it be known um, in my church that I was looking for this kind of thing and somebody who actually had graduated from my college um, knew someone who owned this company so it, worked, it kind of there was a connection that just kind of sprouted some good things um, yeah but it's, it's hard to find an arrangement like this it's it's really rare so I've been very lucky what would be your ideal schedule if you could craft your ideal schedule um, it's actually not too bad right now my work is pretty flexible so I generally work from like 730 to 4 um, which is pretty typical of a school day, so I don't miss out on too much. I'm home for dinner, home for bedtime, get up, we do breakfast in the morning, so 
so it works out well. So you like your schedule. It is you have your ideal schedule. Yes, yeah, I think I do. <laughs> did you get it by tr by random or did you kind of, you know, find something that fit what you really wanted? Um, I've actually worked with this company since I graduated from college and they are very flexible. Um, so I just kind of make my schedule fit what I need. I mean, it's taken me a few years, but to find that work-life balance and I'm starting to thrive with it. I mean, I do wake up at 6, 5 in the morning and I get to work at 6 and I get home by 2.30, 3 o'clock. I think companies are coming around to that now. I think they see that, you know, a happy employee is going to work harder for you and if you have that flexibility with them, they're going to they're going to give you their heart and soul and I think that's what my company does and that's why I do wake up so early and I give them all I have when I'm there and I get home and I give my kids all I have when I get home. Did you go to college and get a degree for it? <laughs> no, no. I fell into it. So um, I worked for a local attorney and she really taught me everything I needed to learn and it was time for me to move on and I found this job and it's a blessing in disguise when I left because I was scared. I was scared of leaving my last job and pursuing a new job and I would I wouldn't take it back for the world. I really wouldn't. And do you have your ideal schedule? What Yes, yes, I love my schedule. Um, so I work just three days a week, and then the days that I'm off, I'm starting to substitute teach at my girls' school, but I also go to an exercise class um, two times a week, and then I'm in Taekwondo three nights a week with my family. What do you do for your job? Um, I actually work at a sandwich shop, uh, which, which, part-time. So what are your hours? Um, 9.30 to 2 o'clock. Do you have your ideal schedule? You really like the hours and the days when you work? Yes, I do. For now, it's temporary until I could find something much better. What would be your ideal schedule? 9 to 5. Um, or like 10 to 6. Every day? Yes. Yeah. So you'd prefer something full-time, even though you're working part-time now? Right. Yeah. You know you got to get to that point where you're supporting yourself mainly try to work when he's in school so it works out that way we both have the same schedule I just you know I have to drop him off a little early at daycare so and then I pick him up right after school I have summers off so I can't really complain so I get to spend all summer with him so the trickiest part is the commute yeah so did he has to go somewhere before and after school grandma comes and watches him I have what I think is my ideal schedule. I work two days a week and I am home the rest of the time. Really, that's what I did most of the years that my <laughs> kids were young. It's a wonderful balance. Yes. So you've been a stay-at-home mom until recently. When did, when did you start working? Just last month. Oh, so this is a new thing. And is it full-time or part-time? It's a part-time job. Okay. Yeah. What are you doing? Uh, I work in uh, school. It's a lunch area. I work in lunch area. Lunch assistant, you can say. My son got surprised. Oh, mom, you're going to do job? But uh, gradually when he saw that uh, I am at home and he is uh, going to school and when I am at home and I'm, he's coming back, so I think he's fine. But yeah, kids get surprised and kids get little overwhelmed that oh my god mom is not gonna be home so they yeah they did that they got that surprise so are your hours the same as uh, theirs so are you there to drop them off and pick them up or be there when they come home like before yeah for my son but my daughter is going a uh, little bit time she's going to the daycare yeah but it's a very little time it's like two hours only if you had your ideal schedule, would you only work when they're in school? Like, what about summer? Or do you think eventually you want to get back to your full-time career? My idea is to get to my career full-time. Actually, I worked in India. So I was a, I was a lecturer in um, National Institute of Technology. You were a lecturer? Yeah. I was like... In the National Institute? Yeah. That sounds very important. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds very important to me too. <laughs> what was your degree? I did my master's in information technology. Do you miss your career? I am sure. I sure miss my career a lot. 
The world will treat you like you don't have a job if you are working from home. If you're a, a freelance writer or a, you know, um, anything, a consultant, but you work from home, the, the world will want to treat you as if you're a person without a job and you have to fight back and, and act like a person with a job. No, I can't go to a 10 a.m. Pilates class, I have a job. I will go to the 6 a.m. Pilates class or I will just not go to Pilates. Um, so that, but that was something, that was a skill I had to learn. I had to learn to be protective of my schedule. Um, and then one of, you learn tricks. Um, you know, if you, you might take a, you might have a day where, um, you know, you, I would read to my son's class when he was in first grade, and that was like on Thursdays. And basically I was like, okay, Thursday's kind of a lost day. I'm gonna stack everything on Thursday. So I would make my doctor's appointments for Thursday. If I was gonna meet a friend for coffee, I would do it on Thursday. So you pick one day, and that's the day you have your volunteer commitment, your doctor's appointment, your coffee with a friend, your exercise class. Um, but then try to be protective of the other days. So you learn these little tricks. Now that you know other working moms who are feeling as frustrated as you are and that it will get better, you've got more strength to face the struggle day in and day out. And I want to help by giving you more strategies from other working mothers in my next video, which will give you the courage to conquer your challenges. So subscribe to my Working Mom Warrior channel and click on the next video to boost your mojo as you relate to the successes and the failures of other working mom warriors who spill the beans so we all can benefit.